October 9th, 2021, market on the calendar. Today's the day we brought the heat. It's game day, Saturday. We got our dogs playing, Auburn Tigers. It's about to kick off here in a minute, but we are dropping the diamond of the century right here. And you know I'm rocking my swag today. We got the legit KD YouTubes because we rocking and rolling on the YouTube. The wheels and tires make a huge difference. But if you thought that Real Deal Neil was not gonna break it out for this, you are completely wrong. So let's get right to it. Let's go. Rocking the Raptor, baby. We rocking the Raptor. You know what I'm saying? Look, we got it going on. Vince Carter style, what you know about that? Hitting that three. Let's go. Shift, second, third, fourth. That's money. That is money set up. Sport mode makes it like a Mustang, but we're four by four, four performance, y'all. So before we get started, the Vince Carter, baby. What you know about that? We got the original Vince Carter hardwood classic throwback. Now Vince Carter, he's gotta be one of the best of all time. And he can flat out ball, just like we doing. We flat out ball too. Let's go, yes, yes baby. I'm so pumped about this truck. Now this one's already been pre-sold, but we got more on the way, but let's get right to it without further ado. Lead foot, the lead foot epidemic is so bad because there's so much non-matching components from the factory. Take a look at this video here of when we first got this Raptor in, it was so basic y'all. And I'm just not about basic. I can't do basic. We got a real deal Why with these Indo Raptor customize it. So we did the front black grill completely blacked out with the, nobody's doing this, the lead foot pinstriping pan painted on there. Unbelievable, incredible, this lower, front bumper was that gray color for some reason we did a lead foot on that uh, glossed out this grill as well as your front park sensor which is new on the 14th gen raptor uh, remove texture on your front bump pads and then the skid plate is actually lower and it doesn't it doesn't show as much but we still did black on that skid plate because we had to do it the right way y'all we could not leave that done the gen 2 raptor you can see the skid plate more up in this area so they actually took the skid plate under but the skid plate is actually bigger on the gen 3 and wider just like the front grill i love the thing i really love is how wider the grill is the gen 2 raptor the grill actually stopped in this way and you had actually paint match uh, inside here they made the grill wider and us doing the paint match on the black makes it look taller so we have a much more substantial wide track throughout i mean look at these big boy stances right here y'all it looks incredible the wide grill just makes it, it appears to be even wider and the 14th gen headlights came over i really do like that a lot um, just a incredible front end a lot of people are doing some paint matches or trying to duplicate what we're doing but nobody's doing the pinstripe which really makes the signature difference along with the other attributes that we include on our interrupter package uh, up top on the heat extractor you've got uh, this was a textured black component also we did that uh, completely gloss black with raptor on the sides there so this has been enlarged uh, versus the gen 2 so we had to do the, the texture remove gloss that up to make it look even more premium inside the headlights we did remove the amber on the side here as well as incorporate some lead foot around the headlight they, it comes with black already from the factory but we put lead foot around the 
uh, LED headlights. Next level, legit, unbelievable. Let's talk mild to wild scale. So we are leveled uh, on 325 60 20s. It's like a 35.6 by 13 wide on a 20 inch wheel. So we're bigger than comes on the factory. The factory comes with a 315 70 17, which is like a 34.8 uh, by 12 and a half. So we are an inch taller and over and a half an inch wider. And our mile to wild scale, we're negative 18 on a 20 by 10 fuel rebel. Love the fuel rebel. So this offset with not going with a 37 gives us a unbelievable. Yes, let's go, boys. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Like changing the game one truck at a time. We're, there will be more. Out back, we did our custom paint job on these LED headlights, border perimeter paint, did texture remove on the fender flares and the side cladding. That was that gray color that we don't know why, but we have to remove it. Uh, did lead foot on the rear bumper and this tailgate, this tailgate. So they actually uh, shortened the width of the Ford letters. So we have more real estate on the rear applique. So we did gloss black, uh, border perimeter and lead foot, lead foot on the 150, lead foot on the Raptor. And for some reason on the third brake light, they incorporate the, the camera off centered. So we had to do a custom paint job, did black, on that portion there, just looks so legit and unbelievable. Outback, Aikens liner, guaranteed for life. This has the two kilowatt power onboard system as well. So legit, gotta love that. A Rowan lock, A-series bed cover, just is a premium option that will improve your everyday usability of this truck, whether you're off-roading it or just an everyday mall crawler going to work type vehicle. So Clay and I are out rolling in the Endo Raptor. Puts a smile on my face. Got me sold on the Gen 3. For sure, it's an incredible platform. I really love everything about it. The interior upgrades, the exterior upgrades, the uh, rear suspension, which we did not even talk about, Clay. The, the five link with the pan hard rod in the rear, with the coil spring now instead of a leaf pack is a legit system to go as well. But the power uh, puts a smile on my face and Clay as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now let's show you some of the startup and cool screen functions as well as some more of the interior attributes on this lead foot beauty. Inside the Raptor interior is so legit with the new 12 inch touchscreen and the new Ultima LCD screen inside your steering wheel cluster, new steering wheel, even smaller, just a great overall new interior, fit and finish is still top dog. That's why it's better than the TRX for many reasons, including how nimble and sporty the vehicle drives along with just the bolsterous seating. It's the original and best for a reason, in my opinion. You've got your paddle shifters still going, showing you all the different drive modes now. As we head out of the shop, let's take a look at the camera. So up here you hit the camera button and it shows your backup camera, forward camera, and your 360 here. Hit this button here, y'all, and you've got uh, the full 360, a full frontal, a full frontal 180, your bed camera showcasing that rolling lock, currently closed That's for your trailer, your hitch, and then a true backup where the grid lines turn, just looks unbelievable the bigger screen just helps with your overall visibility also hit the plus button and you can actually hone in and zoom in on individual corners a new feature gotta love that now check out how as i maneuver safely out of the shop so legit and lane keep assist adaptive cruise control blind spot monitor uh your steering Sensitivity definitely tightens things up in sport or Baja mode while off-roading. And then you have your 
dampeners here as well, sport, off-road, and normal, as well as your exhaust with the trombone style equal length pipes. You see the original OG in the Raptor in the background, the Gen 2, just patiently awaiting me to get back in there. It's like, real deal, don't forsake me. You know, that's, he's like, that's, I'm yours, but I'm like, the Gen 3 baby's trying to pull me in. So let's go figure out and see, is it worthy of my time? Let's go to sport mode. We're in sport mode, ready to rock. I'm gonna put it in manual mode as well, right there, which engages paddle shifters. And then we have to finish off with the exhaust in sport mode also. Let's go. One thing I love about the paddle shifters and the sport mode is the ability to shift on the fly. Ooh, you hear that trombone exhaust wanting to just let it loose. We're in second gear currently. Third, so smooth. I love the manual mode in the Raptors. I also like sport mode. Let's get out of manual mode and go back in sport mode. It shifts pretty legit like I would like to shift it in manual mode. Back in sport mode, normal drive mode. And the thing that I like about the nimbleness of the Raptor that separates it from the Ram TRX, I know there's a lot of Ram fans out there, but the Ram TRX, I mean, I'm jealous of the engine, but that's it. The heaviness, the added weight, it's not nimble and athletic like the Raptor. The Raptor, I can sling around through a corner, bury in a mud hole, climb a hill, go down a hill, 450 horsepower, over 500 pound-feet of torque. It's a very balanced superstar, and you know we're going to dive back into performance packs to get more power, more capability, bigger tires, better suspension, everything. So you want the high-performance off-road and on-road truck, it's the Indoraptor. Not just a regular Raptor, Indoraptor. The 350Z does not want none. I will take his looks. Look, yeah, you better get over it. That's right. That's right. Hey, 350Z on the, mm -mm, no, 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 not in the endo. Come get some. Now let's talk about shocks. So the, the shocks on the Gen 3 Raptor are much improved. They're actually larger in diameter. So we had to find a way to level this. So we actually did a ready lift 1.5 inch uh, top hat spacer level kit. Now we know that's not the most legit way of leveling one. We have some RPG uh, bottom perch collars coming also, but this is a viable option. I have this same option on my Raptor and I'm totally satisfied with it. I love the articulation ride quality. It's all premium rolling on the BFG KM3 mud terrain tires, as I mentioned, and at 325. 6020, just an unbelievable tire, a Baja Champion proven tire, and the stance. Let me know about this stance, how it looks so sinister and mean. It looks like, hey, looks like a Georgia Bulldog. Hoo, hoo, go dogs! Hey, it is 315, so Clay and I, we gotta wrap this bad boy up because Georgia's about to whoop up on them Auburn kitty cats. Game so, time. so we gotta go, boys and girls, but we hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been uh, a long time coming for the Gen 3. Every time a new body style is released, we get excited, but to actually see it come to fruition with all of our customizations to it, where we actually get to enhance a amazing vehicle already. There's no uh, anything wrong with the vehicle in the stock form. Let's, let's get that uh, out in the air. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you can make it even better, that's what we're all about right here at Why Wizard Aikens. Peace.